Hey everyone, I'm Amanda with Sweet Pieces, and today we're here to do a really quick video for you about process with pearl plaster. So I know a lot of you have a hard time choosing what you're going to do and how you're going to do the technique. So here I am today, I'm struggling a little bit with how we're going to create this effect that I have in my head. So I just want to talk to you about the process that I went through. So with the products that we carry, you never have to worry about, well, I'm gonna make a mistake or what if it doesn't look right? So here's what we did with this. We base coated this in a custom blend of Paris Gray, Country Gray, and French Linen. And then we did a wash of graphite over the top of it. Now, normally when I do a wash, I do it very linear so it looks consistent. But when we did this wash, we kind of like, we used a, a rag and we like, blotted it and we went every which way so that it has like this mottled moody kind of a texture so now I'm gonna do the same thing with this pearl plaster and you know it's just a process like you just have to kind of play around so I always tell everyone um, whenever you're doing a wash you're gonna work from top to bottom so I'm gonna spritz some water that's my first step I'm gonna dip my chip brush into the pearl plaster and I really don't need a lot so I'm gonna offload a little bit and I'm gonna start you know kind of just putting it on here and this is exactly how I was doing this on the side of the piece that I've already finished <laughs> I've already finished I don't we'll, we'll get you to take a look over there later so normally when I do pearl plaster I do it like this where I want it to be straight and linear but I didn't want it to be like that I wanted to have a little bit more movement so I also have a sponge here so you can take your sponge and kind of do it spongy now I also don't want this to look like a bad 80s sponge job so I'm not gonna leave it like this so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rag and I'm gonna blot 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 so I said eh, I don't know I'm not sure if I like that either so once I kind of got that a little bit removed then what I did was I took my brush and I kind of just started doing little swirly circles and then blotting. Swirly circles, that's a very technical term. Swirly circles and blot. And I'm sure that all the other previous things that I did kind of lend itself to um, the final finish. So I'm gonna just kind of follow that same process along the whole way. Spritz, 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 spritz. We're gonna uh, brush it on with the chip brush. Then we're gonna use the sponge to blot it. Then we're gonna use the brush to swirl it. And then we'll blot it a little bit further. So here's that draw done now. You can see it just has like this pretty kind of modeled um, movement and reflection to it. And it should pretty much match the side of the piece that I did here just before we got on camera with you. So again, it just has like this little bit of movement and texture to it. It's a rare day here at Sweet Pieces that we like to paint something with one boring color. We always like to kind of layer up our pieces and make them look, you know, aged, like they've got a story to tell. So I hope you're not afraid. Just jump into that project, get to it. Whatever you do will end up looking beautiful. I was getting a little discouraged and my team reminded me what I always say. If you feel like it looks bad, that just means keep going. Just move on to the next step. All right, we'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Want to learn more? Subscribe now.